Oh, hi there. My name's Beth, and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week, we're going to crack on with the hatch. Sorry I haven't been around for a while. I um, yeah, as you know, uh, as you might know, I've been uh, been a bit ill, and then I started feeling better, and then I caught the flu. Um, so I'd seen uh, I'd seen some friends. There were nine of us, and 24 hours later, four of us had come down with the flu. So uh, so it was not one thing; it's another. But um, but yeah, as I've said before, I think uh, in winter, like anything, anything you do is a bonus in winter. Um, and uh, and certainly it's been really cold and bitter and stuff, but um, but it feels a bit more like spring has arrived, um, and so uh, so it's uh, it's quite mild. It's been quite mild. It's been uh, it's been quite a cold winter, but not not extreme, uh, not as extreme as it has been. I think 2021, 2020, 21 uh, was really cold. We had you know the basin froze over. We had lots of snow and everything, um, and so this year there's been a couple of like really cold spots but it's been otherwise all right but yeah it seems like we're kind of getting to spring anyway that means um that i'm hoping to get more work done on the boat um so yeah i need to get the hatch trim finished i need to get the electrics in i need to get floor down i need to start getting rooms in so um but yeah <clears throat> excuse me i'm not going to get it done if i'm ill all the time but um so yeah i'm, I'm going to i'm going to take it easy uh, for a couple more weeks so i'm going to i'm going to try and get a bit more of the hatch done this week um, and then I'm going to take it easy for a couple of weeks. I'm have a couple of weeks off, um, and then uh, then I'll be back with some more jobs. Um, and having a couple of weeks off means that I can have a bit of a think, a bit of a plan, and stuff, which isn't really interesting. As interesting to show you uh, and me sitting around going, hmm. Um, but it means that I can have a little bit of a think and get some things ordered so we can crack on. So um, so yeah, so that's my plan. Um, so I'm going to uh, going to do some of the hatch this weekend or this week, sorry, um, and then. Um, uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of weeks off. Uh, so I hope, hope that's okay with you. Anyway, let's have a look at the hatch. So this piece is just slightly too long. And if you remember, that is the piece that I needed to uh, stick a little bit of extra on because I, uh, I, I ran out of timber. So then I cut it down a little bit with the uh, tenon saw. This is actually my dad's old tenon saw. <laughs> And then gave it a uh, gave it a good sand just to flatten it out a bit. So now you can see it fits perfectly. In a frame I'm just going to use the nail gun and some glue and that should be enough to hold it in place especially because it's got a sheet of glazing in the middle and so that's going to give it a lot of structure. Just clamping it to the table so I can use the nail gun just to pop a little nail in. So before the glue starts to go off, I want to actually put it inside the trim itself and I'm just going to tap it in and that'll just hold it at the perfect angle just to make sure that it'll fit in later on.
the next day I popped it out and you can see I've just put these tiny little pieces of plastic in and that's just to prevent the glue from sticking to the trim itself and so I can actually get the frame out. So just give it a quick measure, just make sure it's roughly square. It doesn't really matter whether it's square or not, it just matters if it fits in and it does. But it is quite a tight fit, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a sand. And now it fits in really nicely. So it's time to fit some hardware to this and the hardware came in a little plastic bag which Bertie got really excited about but he was really disappointed when some brass parts came out and not dog treats. So I'm going to measure this to get the center point for the handle then I'm going to measure half of the overall length to each side just to make sure it fits perfectly in the middle. And now I'm using a felt tip pen just to push through the screw holes and make a little dot so I can drill my pilot holes. Next I'm fitting the catchers which were really kindly sent to me by Carl. They're absolutely perfect. So we got a bunch more done on the hatch trim which is really good so all I need to do now is I need to take the hardware off and then uh, give it a bit of a varnish and then fit it. So, um, so we're going to do that next time but next time is actually going to be I think on the 17th of March so I'm going to take a couple of weeks off um, I, uh, I need to take a little bit of a break, uh, a little bit of a rest so I'll see you then but um, uh, yeah otherwise um, we've got the, uh, the hatch trim just to finish off that last little bit and uh, we're going to move on to the electrics. Um, so I need to do a bit of prep for that anyway so I'll do that in the meantime but um, but yeah so I'm going to I'm going to take a little bit of a, a, bit of a rest. Um, it is still winter and uh, and I think I've said before that um, anything you get done in winter is a bonus so um, and so jobs are a bit slow at the moment so um, so yeah it seems a good time to have a break now um, and uh, and I think I, I need it so um so yeah I'll see you on the 17th March um, I hope wherever you are you're safe you're warm and uh, and I'll see you then.